Good morning, students. This is Muhammad Jasan Khan. I'm a well-renowned teacher, Alhamdulillah, uh, working in with Dickin House. I've taught in different schools here in Pakistan, like City School, Dickin House, Christian Mundal High School, Lagos. Even I have worked with international school in Saudi Arabia from 2017 to 2019. I will take up your mathematics A levels and as you know that uh, you have to prepare four exams for this we are going to discuss the paper one in mathematics A levels mostly what happened actually where the students the good students even when they come from after O level to A levels when they come the Biggest difference with the field in their mathematics subjects, most of the time the student is feeling confused or difficult to understand the topic if he is unable to relate the upcoming new advanced topic in A levels, if he is unable to connect with the previous knowledge what he learned in O levels. Suppose when this new topic, because in all levels you have learned algebra, you have learned circle, geometry, trigonometry, circle theorems. Uh, there are so many things which you have learned. Now in A levels, the upcoming topics will be the sequel of the previous topics, but maybe a little different or different names. But if you are able to connect that this new topic is going to be related about your which previous topic it will be very easy for you and very interesting for you to learn the new topics of A levels. Suppose if I give you the name word differentiation. So those students who will sit in the class of A levels very first time and going to learn this topic maybe they are unaware that either it belongs to your algebra, either it belongs to your geometry or either it belongs to your which topic, right? So, if I give you the introduction about the differentiation, you all are well aware with this equation. Those who are actually seeing this video right now please call the name of this equation exactly it's the equation for a straight line so if I have an equation like this or even This. So we know that it's an algebraic equation somehow, and these two are representing the coordinates x and y. And when we give any value to this x, it gives us the related value on y. And definitely, some here or some where it will make a straight line, maybe like this, maybe like this, or somewhere like this. So when the word this comes, we call this fellow in the equation as a gradient or a slope. So it's quite easy what you have already learned about this straight line equation that this m which is present here in the equation and you can see that for the first equation it is 2 and for the other equation it's minus 4 by 5. They, these are the gradient slope for the line which this equation is making. So yes, it's easy. You understood. But what happened that if I have any equation like 2x plus 5y is equal to 75 by 6 by 35 right? Or here maybe it's square. Maybe here we have q now it's getting complicated, right? 
So, here this differentiation comes to help you out. Now, this is not an equation for a straight line because x and y they are not in the power 1. They have different powers. And, but it is for sure that this equation is still making something on the graph. Maybe a curve, maybe a zigzag something, right? Maybe a twist somewhere. So, whatever it is making, it must have the gradient like a straight line as well. But this shows or seems very complicated equation. How can we find out the gradient for that one? Where we were, where it's, it was very easy for us to find out the gradient for a straight line, which is just besides your x. So differentiation helps us to solve this. We have seven different rules for the differentiation. We will learn those, and then we will apply or differentiate this equation. Whatever the answer comes, would be the gradient for that equation. Getting my point? So this is whatever you are going to learn other than even mathematics. When you are coming in A levels, whatever you have learned in your O levels, in your previous classes, when the new topic comes in any subject, if you are able to relate with your previous knowledge about that topic, then that would be feels easy for you and learn, would be more interesting for you to learn better. So this is how we will relate and this is how we teach to students by upbringing their knowledge from this level to the advanced level. So this is my slide and this is how we will learn the mathematics for A levels and inshallah I will make it very easy and very interesting for you. Till then I'm signing off. Come and join Wicked Excellence Academy. Thank you so much, Muhammad Hassan Khan.